All right, welcome back to Nightly Sports Call. Rich Wallace joined by Gene Collier. You know, and I, I newfound discovery, these Yeti glasses, and I'm not trying to make a commercial here, but these things are unbelievable, Gene. Well, we if you don't have sponsor. one, you need to get them. I, I, I put ice in it before I go to bed, water, and there's ice in it the entire next day. It's tremendous, these things. Yeah, um, we have an opening for a title sponsor. Yeah, we do, the Yeti Nightly Sports Call. Mm -hmm. um, so Fran Fischella tweeted this earlier today. He yeah, said, Pittsburgh making a bid for the worst power conference school. Coach Dixon looking for looking more and more like a genius for leaving. So I tweeted him back, and uh, the perception of Pitt Hoops is at its lowest point in more than 20 years. And he tweeted me back about realigning the, con you know, the conference. It wasn't a good move to go to the ACC. Well, I got this guy, Mike. Mike BR44 said, good job perpetuating it, Walsh and Pop. What am I perpetuating? You know, there's no misconception. They're bad. And I'm telling it like it is. You're perpetuating it. Yeah. <laughs> You know, the worst thing is not to talk about it. Then there's zero buzz, and that's exactly what happened the last few months. There's, that's right. So I, I don't know what camp this guy is, but I think people need to come to the, their senses that pit basketball he just wants, isn't good right now. He wants you to defend pit basketball. Uh, how? Is there anything that you can defend right now? No. Okay. All right, let's go out to Ken. Ken, pit hoops. He wants to talk about pit hoops. He's in a place called Park Gate. I don't know where Park Gate is. Where's Park Gate? Hi, how are you doing today? Good. Thank you for taking my call. Sure. Uh, where's Park Gate? About Ken, where's Park Gate? Elwood City. Elwood City. All right, thanks, man. Go ahead. We, uh, looking at it, too, I think Pitt made a big mistake going to the ACC. Um, they had no choice, though, America, Ken. They had no choice. They, um, they don't have the horses to go. I mean, you're going to war with Ryan Luther, who couldn't even beat Newcastle in the Whippeal against professional athletes at ACC schools. They're just never going to be able to compete in that um, conference, and it's going to be bad for a long time, especially when you get a ticket for $1, um, and that's a problem. Hey, Ken, thanks for per perpetuating it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, you know, Ken, um, you're right, but they had no choice when making the move to the ACC. Zero choice, right? They would have been left in the dust if they didn't do it. Okay. Well, you know, they got a lot of money and they jetted. And that's what, that's what happened. It was the best move for the athletic department because the Big East was folding and all those teams left. It was a left. football move. It was a football move. Right. Yeah. I mean, but th they had no offers from the Big no. Ten. Jamie the, Dixon went kicking and screaming. Yes. The, the Big Ten never invited Pitt. You know, they thought they have this market already with Penn State. So they didn't have a choice. If they didn't go, they would be Cincinnati and not even a Power Five conference right now. Right. The Big East was coming apart. The Big East was coming apart whether Pitt left or not. So I am starting to remember some of this. Yeah, so there's no, they had no choice, Ken. The ACC was the best move they could make. Jamie Dixon didn't want it. But you know what? Syracuse adapted. Why can't Pitt? Well, Syracuse gets around a few things. <laughs> well, <laughs> you mean there's cheating in basketball? Um, so I, I don't know. I mean, I, I just, it, it is. And, uh, you know, I think the blame is on, I got to go to break here soon, but the blame's on Pitt rotating coaches, athletic directors, just no consistency there.